One of the challenges which you might face sometimes in portrait retouching is that the face skin color does not match the body skin color. And it might happen because of the makeup or the cold weather makes the skin look reddish. Whatever the reason, today I am going to show you how to fix this problem really easily using Adobe Photoshop. So let's watch the intro and then start the tutorial. So I opened my photo in Adobe Photoshop and as you see here I did some minor retouching here which was done with dodging and burning and after that as you see the face skin color does not match the body skin color and it is because of the makeup. So what I did here was to add a new selective color layer and I could easily match the color of the skin in the face to the color of the body and it was done really easily with a selective color layer. So let me remove this selective color and do this from the scratch so you could learn and do it really easily. We will go to this menu and create a new selective color layer. I will rename this to the skin match. Uh, and we will go to the color red. Uh, we are targeting the red colors. As you might know, the skin color consists of reds and yellows so i will first start by reds and then i will go to the yellows in the red section we will see cyan magenta yellow black um, we are so we are targeting the red, co red color and in the red color we want to remove the reds we want to decrease the reds so in the cyan uh, the opposite of cyan is as you know is red so in order to decrease reds we need to add cyan so we move this slider to the right as you see if i move this slider to the right we are removing the red from the red colors so if i move this to the left we are adding red but before doing this i would recommend you to uh, take your brush and just select the uh, face skin because we just want to affect the face skin I will uh, re invert this uh, mask and I will only select the face here. We will only select the face. I do not want to select the lips because I do not want to change the color of the lips. So I will uh, remove the lips after I have selected the whole face. Now let me check. We have something here. Let's select this part and. We have selected the face. Now we just we just uh, revert uh, to color black brush and uh, we remove the lip section so we do not affect the lip color here. Now, as you see, we just have selected the face. Now let's uh, start changing the color of the skin. Now, as I said by adding cyan and moving the slider to the right, we are removing reds. I will do this. To some extent which is natural I will do this still here and after that uh, I feel that uh, the skin looks a little bit greenish so as you know the opposite of magenta is green so I by adding magenta you are uh, decreasing the greens so I will move the slider to the right as you see here you should not do it so much just a little bit is enough to some extent which is uh, natural uh, I will not do this a lot a little bit is enough I think for the magenta and here for the yellows as you see if I move this to the right I will add yellow to the red color if I move this to the left I will add blue to the red color uh, I least see a little bit of yellow but uh, I, so I move this to left to add a little bit of blue and I think it is enough for the red so I will move to the yellows color Yellows are most of the parts which are here and as you see here and here we see yellows. You should train your eyes guys and for example here we see more red and here we see more uh, yellow. This is because of the makeup so now in the yellows again I want to uh, remove the reds, the redness, I want to decrease the redness so I move this slider to the right and as you see it will remove the redness from that area which is really nice. And after that, uh, for the magenta, I feel that uh, these uh, yellow areas look a little bit greenish. So I will move the magenta slider to the right to remove some of that green tint from the yellow areas. As you see, 
I have removed some of the greenish tints from that yellow areas. Now for the yellows also, we can play with it to see how it would, uh, how you would like the yellows to be, to be more blue or to be more more yellow. I uh, prefer it, uh, to move to, uh, to blue a little bit, not much, a little bit to the, to the blue side. So we have fixed these uh, yellow parts of the skin also. Now if I turn this on and off, you see that we could easily match the color of the skin, face skin to the body skin. And if you think it, you have done too much, you can just uh, decrease the opacity a little bit till uh, how much you want. And again, I, I'm really pleased with the result here. We could easily match the skin color with the body color and I will let it be 100% 90% I think is good and uh, here is the result as you see which is done really nice and after that I did some uh, more pop and uh, editing in the camera raw filter and here is my final uh, result with this portrait If you like to see more of these retouching tutorials, please give this video a thumbs up and also show some love in the comment section cause that would be highly appreciated and would motivate me to do more of these tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and I will be seeing you in my next videos.